Okay, hello, Virgos. How you doing? Okay, I'm doing you guys reading. Okay, what I was hearing for you guys before I let go by Maze, M A Z E. You make me happy. Woo! Before I let go. I don't know everything, but I'm here before I let go. So, somebody, you know, it's something they, they, they plan on doing before they let go. Because you make them happy. Okay. Yeah. Hey, they're going to do everything it, they can possibly do before they let go. Hey. Oh. You make this person happy. That's the happy song. A happy beat. Before I let go is what I'm hearing. Before I let go, Virgo. Mm-mm-mm. All right, so like, share, hit the notification button to be notified when I post a video. New viewers, subscribe. Thank you for stopping by checking out my channel. So we're going to get into your reading. This is your story reading, okay? Before I let go, so let's see if this, this comes out, what I'm hearing. Let's see if it comes out on the cards, okay? Um, Virgo's energy concerning themselves. Show me Virgo's energy concerning themselves. Hey, woo, woo, any more? Okay. Virgo's energy concerning themselves. Okay. It's about to fall out. Okay. Okay, so these are the cards that came out first. So we have judgment here. And put it out so you can see it. Okay, we have judgment. We have the Ace of Wands, Fire Energy, Sag Leo Aries. We have the Nine of Pentacles here. This is you, Virgo. Ooh, you are on this person's mind. Are you straight in your reading? Virgo right here, the Nine of Pentacles. Okay, you're in your own reading. Six of Cups here, Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer Energy. We have Taurus, the Hierophant is here. That's the Taurus energy. Strength card here. Leo energy. Okay, so let's see what's going on here with these cards that I have so far. So somebody wants a reconciliation with you. Okay, somebody wants to reconcile with you. Or you're wanting to reconcile with someone. Um, someone that you hold a lot of passion for. And you want a passionate new beginning with this person. Or this is what they want with you. Oh, yeah, they want this with you because they're finding you very strong independent they see you as nurturing beautiful they see you with that glow okay all right they see you very secure um being creative stable um they see you growing in success um this somebody from your past okay somebody who's constantly thinking about you fantasizing about you um yes cancer energy here all right they see they're seeing you as marriage material okay they see you as their soulmate they see you as marriage material strength is here okay so this person is coming in wanting to speak some type of truth to you some, wanting to expose how they feel about you to you coming in wanting to heal things with you so some communication is coming in from this person all right who wants a reconciliation with you and maybe you want this with this person as well so you may be getting what you want before i let go however that song go but ooh. you make me happy Woo. let's see let's see Okay, um, Virgo's energy concerning themselves. Okay, yes, they're coming in to communicate. Okay, that they want a successful new beginning of stability with you. That they want to heal things with you. That they're in love with you, the Empress. You're the one. They love everything about you. They're coming in to expose their feelings. All right, um, Three of Swords is here. This is somebody who caused you a lot of heart ache and a lot of pain this is somebody that could have put you in a third party situation 
This is somebody that no longer wants to be separated from you. Some of you could be married to this person and you're in a separation with this person. Or you may be thinking about separating or you could have told this person. You could have spoke some truth to this person. That you wanted a separation with this person. You, you wanted to go through a separation. But they don't want to be separated. Okay? So they're going to come in and express how they truly feel about you. So you will not separate yourself from them. Okay? All right. Wow. You could have attempted um, um, marriage counseling. You could have attempted that. Um, or they're going to come in and suggest this. And maybe it didn't work or you're feeling it's not working, but they're going to come in and tell you they don't want to separate from you. Okay? They're they trying to hold on. Virgo's energy. Woo! So before they let go, they, they're going to try everything it takes to work on things with you. So that's what I was hearing. And it's, it's coming out on the cards. The sun card, you make them happy. The sun is here. Leo energy. So some of you could be dealing with a strong Leo here because it's strong Leo in here. Okay, you make this person happy. Okay, even though they they've been through a lot of cycles with you, um, they still hold passion for for you. You're the one to make them happy. You're the one that inspires the passion. Even though they broke your heart and caused you a lot of heart pain, even though they they had a third party on you, they still had passion for you. Even though they put you through these cycles, you know you you made them happy, but they just didn't express this to you. But they're about to expose all this to you all right just to, to reconcile with you the world is the world is here they don't want to end the cycle with you they want a new beginning of a healing of healing the relationship okay um the page of wands is here okay and they're going to communicate this with you this is somebody that has a lot of pride somebody very prideful okay they're going to drop that pride and express to you how they what they truly want Okay, so they could fix things with you, so they can move forward in the healing. Um, the high priestess is here. Like I said, they weren't expressing how they felt. It was keeping it a secret, hidden. All right, but now they're they're letting it all go. Look at them. They're letting it flow. They're letting it all go. Letting it flow. Letting it all go. How they feel. The tower is here. All right, just to prevent from having a complete tower with you all right just to keep that tower from falling they're going to express to you how they truly feel four pinnacles is here they're holding on to you this person not letting you go okay they really value what they have with you they value the stability that they have with you they don't want nobody else to have you they're selfish when it comes to you even though they, they did things to you even though they dealt with other people they don't want to see you with anybody else so they're holding on to you for their life four pinnacles here okay there's not trying to let you go um virgo death card there's not trying to have an ending with you this person is coming in for a rebirth they want a rebirth they want a new beginning with you They're, this person may be going through a spiritual insight a spiritual change due to the fact that you want to separate with, from them so they're working on themselves. they're looking at a lot of things they're looking at their dark side looking at a lot of things they may have done to cause all these issues in your relationship with you to cause you heartache and pain and that they're about to lose you because of it. this is taking this person through a deep transformation where they're wanting to rebirth so they're doing the work to themselves so they can get this rebirth with you and the first start of it is going to be them expressing how they truly feel how they're sorry for what they did um to you you know by getting your forgiveness okay so they're going to come in and work on getting your forgiveness asking you to forgive them all right seven of cups is here okay this person may come bear you gifts you know this person may come in bearing you gifts as well to help them be able to heal things with you okay this person in, in this time at this moment in time you'll be able to get whatever you want from this person <laughs> whatever you ask for is you gonna get it they're not going to feed you any more illusions. They're not going to hide how they feel. In other words, okay, they're going to be up front with you. Okay, just to work on the partnership that they have. They want to work on it. Three of Pentacles. So they're, they're no longer going to hide illusions. They're going to be straightforward with you from here on in. Okay, 
Eight of Wands, yes, where they communicate to you. This person may not have been doing a lot of communicating with you. They're going to come in uh, communicating with you, sharing things with, with you like, they've been, um, like they were supposed to do in a relationship. Expressing how they feel, expressing things with you, being up front with you about how they're feeling. Okay? Ten of Cups. You make them happy. This is what they're going to express to you, that, that they want this family foundation with you. Okay, they don't want to lose it. If you already have a family foundation with this person, they don't want to lose it. You make them happy. You're their fulfillment. Um, the King of Wands, you innerly satisfy this person. That's why they hold on to you. You know, you, you truly inner, innerly satisfy them mentally, physically. You make them feel good. You make them feel on top of the world. Okay, Queen of Cups, you're the one they hold all these emotions for. All right, and they hit them, and they're no longer going to hide it. You're the one they they have a spiritual connection with. Okay, Scorpio energy here, Aries energy here, Scorpio Aries. So now we're gonna. Ooh, that was clean cut and simple right there. You make me happy. Woo. Before I let go. So they're gonna do everything possible possible to fix things with you before they let go. Of the relationship. They're not going to let you go. They're not going to let you walk out on them like that. Okay? You make them happy. Alright? So, we're going to um, clarify. The story could change. You know? So, somebody else can have a chance to resonate with something. Alright? Or it's just going to go more in depth. Okay? Clarify the judgment. Let's clarify judgment. Concerning Virgo's energy. Okay? So somebody wants to reconcile with you. King of Cups energy, Cancer energy here. Because they hold a lot of emotions for you. Affections. Okay? They only want affections from you. Okay? Yeah? This person may have put you in a third party, but now they're coming in only seeking your affections. Okay? They're very emotional about you. Okay? You may see the person as being sneaky. <laughs> um, Ten of Cups is here. Yeah, they want this family foundation with you. All right? So they're coming in wanting a reconciliation. Or they don't want to lose a family foundation. Um, for some of you guys who already have a family with this person, they don't want to lose it. They hold a lot of passion for you. Um, they have a lot of passion for this family dynamic that they have for you. And they want a, fa uh, a passionate new beginning when it comes to moving forward with you. They want it to be a passionate one. Okay, clarify the Ace of Wands concerning Virgo's energy. Concerning themselves. Okay, yeah. Nine of Cups, this person may have had a lot of options. A lot of people may be wanting them, but they're focused on you, focused on getting this passion to the beginning with you because you're the one that makes them feel good. You know? Okay. And they see you as beautiful, nurturing to them, creative, you know, strong, independent, out of any of the other options that they dealt with behind your back. You're the one. You're the um, successful one. They see you being strong, successful. Okay? When they did all this stuff, if they, whatever they did with you, with all that, you you worked on you. Okay? And they're loving that about you. That that made the passion and grow even more for you. Them seeing you grow um, in abundance while they was out there acting a fool. Okay? They seeing you nurturing yourself. Tending to you while they was out there out there being foolish. Okay. So they have grown more, you know, to value you more. You know, they've grown more passion for you. They see you got a glow about you to this person. And they don't want to lose that. Taurus energy here. Queen of Pentacles. They see you as a very stable, secure, strong person. They don't want to lose that. Okay. They think about you a lot. They see you as your true soulmate, okay? A friend. They see you as a friend, true soulmate. Six of Cups. Water energy. Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer energy. Clarify the Six of Cups. And this is somebody from your past. Somebody you could have grown up with. Your soulmate. Some of you is some of you is somebody from your past wanting to come back. But some of you, you already are with this person. 
Okay, King of Pentacles. Yes, yeah, some of you already have stability with this person. Some of you, they don't want to lose the stability that they have with you. King of Pentacles, Capricorn energy here. Or some of you, they want stability with you. All right. Some of you, they see you as marriage material. They want to marry you. Some of you, they don't want to lose the marriage. Okay, they want to work on it. They want to do um, marriage counseling. Like I said, they're going to expose to you how they truly feel about you, what they want, how they want to heal things with you. They want your forgiveness. So some communication is coming in. Clarify the hair font. Clarify the hair font in Virgo's energy concerning themselves. Clarify the hair font. Hey, look, the four pinnacles, this person not trying to let you go. They holding on to you. They're not letting you go. They value you wholeheartedly. They don't want to see nobody else with you. Okay. So they, they may come in suggesting marriage counseling. Okay. Or some, the ones that aren't married, they're going to come in and offer their hand to marriage. They want to marry you to, to, to move forward on another level with you. Okay. The devil, they're obsessed over you. Okay. They're very possessive, obsessed over you. They don't want nobody else having you. Okay. This person is jealous. If they see anybody else paying you any attention, this person gets jealous. Whoever this is. Capricorn energy. Somebody dealing with a Capricorn. All right. They ain't trying to let you go. They hold on to you. They're very obsessed over you. You could see this person as being toxic because they're too, you may see them being too obsessive. I don't mean too possessive over you, you know? So you can feel like this person is too possessive. All right. Or they have some type of toxic or you may feel like they, they have some addictions that they need to heal themselves of before um, you move forward with them. So they could have been working on that. They could have made changes to themselves where they worked on their addictions because the hair font car is that as well. So they could have grown spiritually where they worked on themselves, set boundaries on issues, you know, on things about them. That they had issues with um, a hard time dealing with, you know, sexual, drinking, smoking, something like that. So they could have worked on that, those addictions. Okay, so maybe some of you had a problem with those addictions that they carry, whatever that may have been. Clarify the strength card. Okay, so now they healed themselves of that. Now they want to come in and heal things with you but they know they have to get your forgiveness first before they can get a successful new beginning of stability off the ground with you okay so they got to work on you forgiving them right so they have to get you to forgive them so their first step was to work on themselves now they're coming in working on getting you to forgive them so getting a successful new beginning of stability off the ground twice here go again all right the ace of pentacles twice Clarify the Ace of Pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, the Magician. They're manifesting this successful new beginning with you. Aries energy here. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy here. Okay? They're manifesting what they want. This successful new beginning with you. Because they're in love with you. Libra energy. Okay? You are everything to this person. They love everything about you. Um, Even though they put you in this third party, they were still in love with you. They're, you're the one. You are always the Empress. Clarify the Empress. Okay. Yep. So there therefore they want to move to better waters with you. You're the one they want. You're the one they want to you they want you to be their wife, their husband. Or you are the wife or the husband. You are always first, even though they hurt you, even though they cause you a lot of heartbreak and pain. Um, ten of rods is here. It burdens them that they did this to you. Okay. And they're releasing all that negativity um, so they can move forward with you, okay? And they want to release, you know, they want to release this burden, okay? Where they hurt you. They no longer want to cause you hurt and pain. They want to be able to release it. Okay, or this is what you did. You released this person. You released this person burdening you because they caused you a lot of heart breaking pain. Yeah, Knight of Swords. They kept a lot of drama in your life, you know. But they hurt you, you know. You you had to separate yourself from that situation. You got tired of going through it. 
clarify the nine of swords or some of you who haven't broke away from that yet you work you're working on doing that you want to you you're ready to let go you let you're ready to move on move out not arise or kick them out sagittarius is energy okay where they want to heal the emotional distance okay where they want to rush into you and work on things fix things um they're going to be a, a bit gr aggressive and pushy with moving forward with you gemini energy all right Okay, I'm uh, healing the um, emotional distance with you. Some of you, seven of rods is here. You're fending them off. Okay, you're fending this person off. Okay, you ready to kick them out. You tired of the drama, okay? Right? You tired of going through the same old cycle. Some car, you just want to be happy, all right? Where they want to heal the emotional distance. They're ready to rush forward. Um, express some strong feelings to you, um, get you to let your guard down because you're the one that makes them happy. Okay. They no longer want to take you through these cycles. Their passion still burns for you. Okay. So they want a new beginning. Okay. And they're ready to end those cycles of causing you this heartache and pain. Okay. King of Swords is here. Libra energy. Okay, they're going to stand their ground. Even though you're fending them off, King of Swords, they're going to stand their ground. Um, they're going to speak truth with you. They're going to fight tooth and nail to work on things with you, to heal the emotional distance with you. Even though you 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 fighting them off, even though you're fending them off, all right? They're going to fight tooth and nail. They're going to stand their ground until you, you know, do you give in? Okay, this person has ended the cycle of wanting to hurt you. You know, they want a new beginning. So they're going to fight for their new beginning. They're going to fight for it. They're going to stand their ground until they get this new beginning with you. Hey, the world card. Yeah, the world card is here. Yeah, they're very emotional when it comes to you, Queen of Cups. Okay, but they don't express how emotional they are. This person is holding on. They is not trying to let you go. Look, they're they're holding on for dear life to get this new beginning with you. Okay, they feel like you're the one that they have this spiritual connection with. All right, and they feel your pain. They they're feeling the hurt that they put you through, and this is something that um, has this person emotional as well because this change that they're going through up here. Um, when doing the work on themselves, they realize that how much hurt and pain they put you through they're feeling it all right and they're gonna come in they're gonna let their pride down you know this person may have been very arrogant towards you where now they're gonna come let their pride down and express to you announce to you you know how they feel they're no longer gonna hide how they feel about you they're no longer gonna hide they're gonna let it flow look at them they're gonna let it flow they're gonna open up to you and express how they truly feel that's the page of wands. Okay, um, five of pentacles. Why? Because they're going to announce to you that they miss you. Um, they want you to bring, let them out from the cold. You know, bring them in from the cold. The hermit. Yeah. They've been doing a lot of inner reflecting on things that they've done getting spiritual insight um listening to the divine following what the divine tells them to do in a situation so they can win you back okay to help them figure out what to do in this situation to a rod all right okay And this is what they're going to do. They're going to come in no longer hiding secrets, expressing how they feel. Okay. Yep. Clarify the high priestess. Clarify the high priestess. Okay. Seven of Pentacles. Yeah. And they're sitting contemplating on what to say to you, how to express it to you, how to express to you you know how what they're feeling how they're feeling to help them get this stability off the ground with you 
Seven of Pentacles, they're looking into all kinds of options. They're contemplating on different options to say to you, to express to you, to um, prevent this tower from completely falling. Clarify the tower. Or to even prevent another tower between you guys. The Eight of Swords, yeah. And they're using the divine to help them in the situation because this is them right here. They're stuck. This is, you know, they're stuck. They don't know what to say. They're in a state of confusion. You know, they're in a cycle of confusion. So they're using the divine to help them, you know. They've been spending a lot of time to themselves trying to, you know, figure out what to say to you. Get out of this confused um, cycle where they don't know what to say. So the divine is helping them, you know, in this situation so they can move forward so they can end the cycle of being confused on what to say to you on getting this new beginning with you so you could you know let your guard down so you can open up to them and this person they're holding on to you for their life they value you they value what they have with you um, they're not trying to let you go. They don't want nobody else to have you. This person is kind of selfish when it comes to you. They are holding on. Clarify the four of pentacles. Ooh, these cards is jumping. Oh my goodness, you guys. The five of rods is here. But they're, yeah, they're going to fight for it. Okay? They're going to fight for it. Okay? They're no longer confused. The will of fortune. The divine is helping them. Get out of that confused situation they was in. On what to say to hold on. To, you know, not to lose you. All right? The divine helped them. So in divine timing, they're going to come in. In divine timing, they're going to come in. Wanting this rebirth with you. Which is a new beginning. In divine timing, it's going to happen. They're just waiting. This person is allowing the divine to guide them in a situation because they're confused. It's hard for them to say what they need to say to move forward with you. So they're allowing the divine to guide them in this situation. Okay, you guys? Get a rebirth. They're working on themselves, getting some spiritual guidance. Working on their shadow side. Clarify the death card. Scorpio energy. Clarify. Okay, yeah, because they're stuck. Okay. They're stuck. They don't know how to move forward. They can't move forward. So they're using the divine to help them be able to move forward with you. Because they're stuck. They're confused. They don't know what to say to you. Okay, this person no longer wants to feed you illusions. Okay, they want to express fully how they feel to get this new beginning. Ooh, seven of Cups. Clarify the Seven of Cups. Clarify the Seven of Cups. Wow, this is hard for me. This person is struggling, boy. They're struggling on what to say to you. It's hard for this person, but they know they don't want to lose you. Okay, they're in love with you. They no longer want to feed you illusions about how they feel. They've been hiding it so long. That they're ready to let it flow, but they just don't know how to let it flow. So the divine gonna help them in divine timing what to say. All right. Um, they're in love with you. They're gonna come in and express how they're in love with you. Okay, this person, like I said, they may bear you gifts. This could be somebody already they do this. They could have bear you gifts to show you how much they, they love you, but they don't say it. Okay. So that's one way you would know that this person is in love with you. They bear you gifts, but they don't express how they, they're in love with you. Okay. Um, three of swords is here. Yeah. Because they broke your heart. They're going to bear you a lot of gifts to show you that you're their, um, divine partner. Okay. This person no longer wants to be separated with you. Okay. But they're stagnant. Okay, they're trying to figure it out. They're trying to, you know, wait on that, the divine to give them what to say, to show them what to say, to show them what to do to get this rebirth with you, to prevent another tower with you. 
Okay, this person's worried about going through another tower or something with you. They really scared. Yeah, this person is scared. They, they're worried about going through a tower. They're worried about saying the wrong thing to you and nothing working. That they just mess everything up. So they're, they're waiting on that divine timing, waiting for the divine to give them something to bring to you, something to say to you, to um, um, help them be able to move forward on working on a partnership of stability with you, okay? Wow, I'm getting tongue-tied. Wow, this person is... Okay, so we have the Three of Pentacles. Virgo's energy. Clarify the Three of Pentacles, okay? But guess what? This person is watching you very closely, all right? They haven't expressed to you yet how they're feeling, but they're watching you very closely, okay? They keep very close tabs on you. All right. They may talk about you to their friends, you know, how they want to work on a partnership with you. They're very possessive over you as well. So, you know, they are keeping very close tabs on you until they can work on this partnership of stability with you, until they can express, communicate to you how they want to be able to communicate to you on what they want and how they feel so they can move forward quickly with you. Okay. So once they gather all that, once the divine helps them in that area, be able to speak like they um supposed to speak to a person on a mature basis. Maybe they don't know how to speak in a mature light. So the divine is helping them work on that. But once they're able to do that, express, they're coming in full-fledged speed, right? With expressions, with feelings. On how they want to move forward with you. Clarify the eight of wands. Clarify the eight of wands. Okay. I even have a hard time getting stuff out. Okay. Yeah. Four of swords. They're going to move forward full-fledged and fast on healing things with you. Expressing what they want and how they feel. And they're, the divine is helping them. They're praying to the divine. This person is going through a spiritual growth. A change. Because there's either they don't have you or things have stalled. In the relationship, if you are still in a relationship with this person, okay? So they're praying for the divine to help them, their higher power to help them um, work on rebuilding stability with you or find a way to work on it, on rebuilding stability with you. The Eight of Pentacles, Taurus Virgo Capricorn energy, Gemini Libra Aquarius energy is also here, all right? Whew. Okay, because you make them happy. They want this family foundation with you, all right? If they already have a family foundation with you, they don't want to lose it, all right? Clarify the Ten of Cups. I see Scorpio Cancer energy here. Okay, the Temperance is here. So, for now, this person is trying to gain insight from a higher power, right? How to gain balance with you, all right? Ten of Pentacles. How to get that um, stability, that, that feeling of security, that feeling of feeling safe back with you again. Okay? Ten of Pentacles. They want that back. They want that good feeling back, that safe, that comfortable feeling that they used to have with you. They want that back. So they're allowing the divine to help them get all that back with you. And it's taking some time, but it's going to come in. And again, in divine timing, it, it will happen. Okay? This person holds a lot of passion for you, all right? Mentally, physically, look, you're the best. You run with the best of them. Even though they did what they did, you run with the best of them, all right? That was just a, a, a man thing that they went, that went on with them, you know, with that, that third-party situation. That was just some type of man thing on the, on the immature side, okay? So I should be saying on the little boy side, okay? They was, they was acting like a page, a fool. You know, when they did what they did to you, knowing all the time that you you ran with the best of them. Maybe it was so good to them that they had to go out there and be like, well, dang, you made them feel little, you know, even though you made them feel on top of the world when you were with them. But dang, maybe it was some, this person had some type of insecurity they could have had where they had to, they had to know for sure, is it good? To her or him. You know? Is it truly good to her or him? 
You know, they know they know you were good. They know it was what you did to them was good. But they had to feel secure enough was it good to you. So they went out there around to others. You know, that's for somebody, you know.